Previously on Sailing Doodles, we trekked through a swamp to visit a waterfall. In this episode, we do some river canoeing and diving. We start this episode in Koh Kut, up to Koh Rong, where we do some diving, and end the day in Koh Mok. All music in this episode is by Sarah the Illstrumentalist. So while I'm up here editing and working, uh, the girls are going to take the kayak into the river and do some kayaks and some pictures. Hopefully they come back some good stuff. Part of the charm and beauty of this part of Thailand are the beautiful beaches and the serene tidal rivers. The girls are on their way back in. Uh, unfortunately, there's just no wind, and there hasn't been for a couple days. It's just that, you know, it's a week with no wind, it happens. So, uh, I mean, it's like three knots out there. So, uh, we're gonna keep on moving though, head up uh, to another island. All right, so what she does is she points to the chain and I drive to it. That way, uh, we're trying to put as little tension on the windlass as possible. You know, it's, the windlass is not pulling us up, it's just pulling the chain up. One of the more beautiful parts of the Koh Chong area is Koh Rong and its excellent snorkeling and diving. It's actually a, a park here. It's a moorings only, but they have a lot of moorings. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is to do it. I mean, they're supposed to send a boat around that'll collect fees, but I don't think it's very much, like three or four hundred bots, something like, you know, so five, ten dollars, something like that. But the plan is, is we got our scuba gear, we are going to drop in right here and just do a loop around the rock and see what we see down there. It's about, I think we're about 20 meters, so 60, 70 feet. Uh, should be a good little dive. It's pretty convenient being able to carry all your own dive gear on the boat, so we pulled that out and we were ready to dive. So we briefed the dive. We're not. It's so warm out here, and it's the water's so warm. We're not going to wear wetsuits. So we just got. We put some uh, weights inside the BC. We get some extra weights over there um, by the stairs in case we need it. And uh, we've already briefed on what we're going to do if there's current and all that stuff. So we're about ready to get out of here. I wasn't expecting very much from this dive, but right away I was amazed by the number of fish. We even saw one of my favorites, the clownfish. We even saw a lionfish, although they're not invasive here.
It was a nice little dive, but time to surface. All right. First diving. Yeah, successful. successful. It, was good. it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. There's a lot of fish. A lot of fish, and they are too hungry. There's one of them. Did you see him nipping on me? Yes, it's all when it attack you. Uh, like a bunch. Your legs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. There you go. Got it. <laughs> let's, do some, let's do some more diving later. All right, now we're going for a good sunset place. We haven't seen any really good sunsets yet. Hopefully we have some. No, yes, sun, sunrise. Sunrise has been good. Y'all haven't gotten up for sunrise the last few days, though. I've been seeing some amazing sunrises. They've been sleeping in. Yes, I need to sleep. <laughs> okay, let's uh, unhook the mooring and let's do this. With a little help from the crew, we unhooked the mooring and we're on our way. Catamarans are so easy to maneuver, you know? You got the two engines, one on each side, you can just spin this thing on a dime. Safely anchored in Comac, we headed ashore for happy hour and a beautiful sunset. We're back at Comac. It's actually, it's one of my favorite places. That's why we're back here again. Hoping for a good sunset. We haven't had any good sunsets. Hopefully this will be a good sunset. There's my favorite sunset bar where I've seen the most beautiful uh, sunset ever. It's always nice when your biggest quest of the day is a beautiful sunset. We decided to relax the afternoon away at the Comac Resort. Yeah, it's a nice relaxing spot. Uh, it's a good time. It's fun having the girls on board. My only downside is they're both vegetarians. You know me, I like my steak and my beer and they don't really drink either, so that's kind of annoying. Neither. One of them actually doesn't drink at all. Who does that? When we were sailing the first day, we did see some jellyfish. We haven't seen any since, but you will see these signs everywhere. Venomous jellyfish, it's got the types and all that. And they have these little boxes, little tubes here, red tubes that uh, have this bottle in them and it's got vinegar in it. Pretty much everywhere. As sunset approached, we headed over to the Coco Cape Pier. As Thai sunsets go, this one was fairly lacking, but nothing to complain about. All right guys, we started doing something new for our patrons, just for them, because they really are the ones that help us to do this, because we just had to replace some very expensive camera equipment that got broken, um, and it's our patrons that, that basically make this happen, that we continue to make these videos. Uh, but we started doing daily vlogs just for patrons. Uh, they're like three minute, two minute videos. They're live in real time with what's really happening. And it's just for the patrons. So if you would like access to the patron only vlogs, the daily ones, it's uh, patreon.com slash sailing doodles and you can become a patron for as little as one dollar. Also about one quarter of the fleet is already sold out for the sailing doodles flotilla. We have nine boats, we have five, four catamarans, five monohulls, and we are gonna be sailing with you on these boats. You don't have to book the whole boat, you can book just one cabin in the boat. There's a link in the show notes, we'll give you more information on how you can sign up and the cost and everything. It's an all-inclusive deal, so all the food on the boat and all the food offshore is kind of included in this price. The only thing that's not included, well, there's a couple like beer barbecues we're doing that the beer is included, but the rest of the time, you have to do your own alcohol. But it should be a fun time. We're going to be sailing with you. We're going to be on the on the boats, and uh, let's go have some fun. Thank you to Group Island Spirit for supplying this boat. If you'd like to charter or buy one, check out their website.